Today is a day I have been dreading. I truly do think we did not get that house for a reason. And in my mind, there are two reasons. I get so self-conscious. I'm just keeping it real with you guys. I had a feeling you'd come back and see me. Good morning, guys. I just woke up. I'm on my phone. I don't even have my camera because I wasn't planning on starting this vlog. But I was just looking around and I'm realizing I'm very humbled right now because this is my current home. Like, just this. <laughs> this is my old childhood bedroom. I, as you guys know, don't currently have a home, so technically this is it. It's like not an ideal situation, but I mean, Zach and I were just talking last night, like we dealt with the logistics of our whole lives so poorly because you guys know we were obviously traveling for a few months and then we decided, all right, we're going to stop traveling. We're going to settle down. But what do we do in the time like between deciding to stop traveling and actually finding a house to buy? Like we, we really didn't think that one through so welcome to the vlog life is a um life is a mess right now i actually yesterday booked my flight back to cincinnati currently in new york obviously i'm going back to cincinnati on saturday to look at a house which i'm like i'm telling myself i don't want to get my hopes up i don't want to think this has to be the one you guys know the dream home kind of slipped away from us which it wasn't the dream home like it wasn't meant to be so that's fine but the one we really wanted, we did not get. And I don't want to go into like panic mode and think like we must buy like house immediately because this is a big decision. Like I don't want to settle. I do not want to settle. I obviously want to leave this like, you know, I, I, I'm craving a home and like, you know, living in something that's bigger than like 10 by 10. I have a very tiny childhood bedroom, but we're going to find something. And I'll be, I have my retainer in, in case you're wondering why I probably sound like a freak. Also, I currently have a pounding headache that's been going on for a couple days. Two nights ago, I smacked my face into this wall. Like, absolutely, like, fully launched it. Thought I broke my nose in the moment because I'm not used to, like, having a bed against a wall. So, that's also happening right now. I figured we could have a little chat as I get ready because today is a filming day. And I just, like, love having set filming days where I'm just sitting in front of the camera and talking like it's just so old school YouTube and I love it so much but I never discussed on here the shadiness that went down when Zach and I did not get our dream house and like which like no one knows what happened right like there's just a lot of speculation but it was a very sketchy situation a very sketchy timeline I have no idea like I'm almost like shocked or like what's the word like it just it didn't make sense because we saw the house we loved it and I could tell by what the realtor was saying that there was another family or person interested in the house I could just tell she almost like wasn't selling us the house which is weird like she was talking about I can find you other houses actually there are other houses that you can get brand new that are that are less than this house which is very odd for a real estate agent to say if they're like truly trying to sell a house, right? Like normally you're like, this is the one. I've been to a million open houses, okay? Like normally I'm not used to real estate agents telling me this house is overpriced and you could get something cheaper. I mean, she didn't say it was overpriced, but she was just like, you could get something way cheaper that's actually brand new. That was weird, but in my head, I'm like, this is my dream home. I don't care what the real estate agent thinks about the house. Like I want it. So we ended up putting in an offer because we were told that another person was also putting in an offer that day. And then we just simply got rejected. And we said, can we like counter? Like we, we have more money. It was my dream home. We were willing to put in some money. So we were like, we have the money. Like, can we put in a counter? Nope, we're not allowed to. I don't understand. So I think that we were almost played in the sense and the person who actually ended up with the home was played where they wanted another person who was interested in the house to come in so that they could tell the person who actually ended up with the house, there's another person interested, you have to up your offer, like, what do you got? Like, give us your best offer. And it, it just, it was the weirdest situation. Just like, why why wouldn't you want a counter offer? Why wouldn't you want to make more money? It like, it just doesn't make sense. And that's why, honestly, it was a blessing in disguise because in the moment, I'm like, I'm willing to you know, put every penny I have into this house. And thank gosh, like I was telling Zach, like honestly, like we could have ended up in a bidding war and bitten off more than we could chew. That's why like it truly, I think worked out the way it was supposed to. It's, it's a little frustrating now that I'm going back to like the looking for a home process and every house like seems to have like just this one big con, like just this one thing that's like, 
just making it not a house we want, whether it's the location or the house next door is just way too close. Like they're on top of each other or it backs up into a highway. Like just, there's just always something. And that's why with this house, I did get so excited because they're truly was no con. Everything I wanted, it had, and more, because they were leaving some of the furniture, which was nice. I just need to remember that we're going to find one. And listen, it doesn't have to be perfect, but at the same time, I'm not trying to settle. Like, I was telling Zach, if we have to even just rent for another year, like, if we have to, like, it, like the bottom line is we can't stay with our parents forever. Like, I am craving my own space, just craving it. Like, I love being here. I really, really do. You guys know, like, I obviously love my parents. I love Walter, but like, I just crave waking up and going into my beautiful, like, kitchen alone. I mean, that sounds so mean. I love my mom, okay? But I just crave, like, solitude. <laughs> and just like, independence. I almost feel like my life is on pause right now. Like, I, I, I it just, I'm living someone else's life, it feels like. I don't know. It just, I'm, I'm craving this. And Zach and I have talked about something we've never really considered, building a home, which it just feels so expensive and just crazy, and then you have to wait all those months. Oh, but it has been discussed, like, it's just if we can't find the perfect one, like, and we find a good lot, I don't know. Like, we're very much so in limbo right now but at least we are making some steps toward normalcy and oh my gosh i spoke with zach this morning he called me after his doctor's appointment he's been going every month or no not every month Ooh, i just you know when you look up when you just did mascara he's been going every week and it's really not been resulting in anything they believe he has and they know actually i think he has a rib that is like just totally out of place it's like backwards or something and they have not been able to move it and you can't do it surgically so they've been trying 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 it hasn't been working and then today for the first time she said she actually felt his rib move which is huge and then not only that another part of this is his hip is also in pain she was working on his hip today and said she actually felt like stuff like she feels things that are wrong which is a good thing like this whole time when zach has had a mystery illness for almost a year at this point it's just been so frustrating not knowing what the heck is wrong. And finally, like, to have someone say that is so hopeful. And he actually did sound pretty hopeful on the phone. Like, not that hopeful. <laughs> Let's be real. We're not that hopeful because we just have been down this road for so many times. But we're making progress. So this is the current setup. Filming that video I was telling you guys about. We've got money, which I feel really weird using it as a prop. But, like, it just, it makes the video. I, I, I had to. And then this camera, I actually lent to neil thinking maybe he could like get into photography i was hoping he would i just think that'd be fun for him but he really didn't and so i took the camera back oh my god it literally weighs like i i, I could barely hold this right now it's just so big and on the day to day like this vlog camera is perfect for me but for shots where you really want to get like fancy with focusing and just crystal clear nothing beats it it's the what camera is this? I think it's like a Canon, but what's really important isn't the camera, it's the lens. Like, it's just so freaking good. Guys, we've got a very exciting package for my mom. Remember how many bridal gowns that you tried on? Even Walter, you know why Walter is barking? Because he thinks somebody's knocking at the door. Oh, I was like, why are you doing that? Stop doing that, mom. <laughs> he Walter, no one, you're No one's fine. at the door. You're fine. Okay. The box. But remember, you had how many bridal gowns that you tried on? My so, first one. My first one was the one. But you tried on many. <laughs> so we don't know what the story is with this till we take a look. Well, and tell them, you've actually been stressing over this. Like, you've not been able to find a good dress to wear to my wedding. Like, you... Right. Well, I have so many issues. Number one is the size of me. Mom. Number two, <laughs> I do terrible in the heat, and it's a summer wedding. <laughs> I just sabotaged everyone. Uh, I gave up the whole um, long sleeves because of the heat, where if we're outside a lot, I don't want to be in the sun, but I'll spray. Just in my own head... I thought it's a good cut for me, but it's hard to judge when it's on a model that's, you know, tall. And thin. you wanted it to be full length because... I want it to be full length in case I have to wear ugly shoes. There's just so many points I have to hit. <laughs> so in my mind, I thought this is a good one for me. Dun, da, da, da. She's going to a funeral. I'm kidding, no. I'm kidding. <laughs> this actually reminds me, and that's why you said that, of the dress that you I wore. I wore Granny's funeral. Yes. That's weird. That's the dress, possibly. I think that'll be a really good, I think this is good, Mom. Do you think? Are you gonna try it on or no? I hope I fit in this. I look a lot broader, don't I, my shoulders? And no, it, it all stretches. That's just the silhouette of it. Do you wanna try it on or no? 
It's not inside out, right? Wow, this is so interesting, guys. They put this on the outside so that you can't wear it and then return it. I'm sure a lot of people have done that. <laughs> Once the return label has been removed, the item cannot be returned. That's smart of these companies. Yes. Do I go upstairs to do that? Don't get dog hair on it. Let's just see how steep the dad is. Dad, my wedding dress came in. <laughs> I feel like you literally would think that. Yes, that's when I did my wedding dress reveal, I obviously didn't show you guys the one I chose, but I did it like me blacking out the dress. I showed it to my dad. Do you remember that, dad? You were like, you got a black dress and you like freaked out. Why not? Because you couldn't see. Well, you're not having a bridesmaid. You're not having, what are other stuff you're not having? Dad seems to be really salty about the fact that I'm not doing a traditional wedding. Actually, Dad, what are your thoughts on the fact that I'm mixing the father-daughter dance? Uh, sure, I mean, if you were really passionate about it, I'd do it, but I don't think either of us like dancing. <laughs> so why not? I mean, Dad, if you really want to do the father-daughter dance, I'll do it. I just didn't really think... Yeah, sure. He says we should, guys. Why not? All right, maybe we'll do it. Maybe we'll do it to be determined. <laughs> Dad, it's just those things. Why, why are you so offended over my non-traditional wedding? Why would I be offended? Try make it nice. You're the one. You, you you said it before. You're like, I can't believe we're not doing any of this stuff. I never ever said that. In a vlog, you're making fun of me for it. That. I think you're making fun of me because I was getting hate on the internet, though. No, for what? For not having uh, bridesmaids. It's your wedding time. It's your life. <laughs> this is the worst angle. <laughs> Honestly, it's not awful. The sleeves are just a little weird. Maybe it's because it's not zipped. I wonder if I lose. Walter, this does not concern you. It matches Walter. Oh. <laughs> the game plan is mom can't eat until mom. after the wedding. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna, it doesn't quite zip, but we'll see if it zips in however many months. I've got to get back on my feet again. Workout routine. Well, tell everyone, you already Walking. lost, how many pounds have you lost? I don't know. A lot. A lot. Like 12, 14, 16? 18. 18? 18. Oh my gosh. All right. Then at this rate, yeah, it's going to be too big. I don't think so. <laughs> it's going to be just right. Okay. I just wanted to give a little PSA that if they have these at your grocery store and you like tomatoes, they're called flavor bombs. You have to get them. Like they just have so much more flavor in them than the other ones I've been finding. I think like the key is like, it's the circular tomatoes that taste good. I don't know what it is. But I'm a fan. I just need everyone to know this is the fifth day in a row I have come to Pickleball Plus. I kind of have an addiction, but like, guys, just look around. Like this, I want to let you know, is what happiness looks like with Carly. Good morning, Walter. <laughs> well, today is a day I have been dreading where my I found my dream home video went live this morning. And I was dreading it just because reading all of the comments I knew was going to make me so sad because... At the end of that video, we put in the offer and I had no idea we didn't get it. So it's just, it's sad seeing so many people comment and be like, oh, like, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. I'm so happy you found your home. And I just know the truth, which I'm not going to lie. I have not been responding to comments on this video and I wasn't even going to look at all. Like it's just too painful <laughs> right now, but I couldn't resist. Like, I'm like, what are the people saying? So I went on to the video and I was just scrolling and one of the first comments I saw was someone saying like, geez, like people really need to like leave their opinions to themselves. You and Zach can do whatever you want. And that intrigued me. I'm like, so what are people saying? I cannot believe how many people are so passionate about my life decisions. Like people, I'm, I just got another message. Like you need to move to Florida. Like people are crazy. And here's the thing, like you only see a small segment in my YouTube videos. So of course, when you see like one YouTube video, me talking about moving to Florida and then the next me talking about living in Cincinnati, like you only see that, but you don't see all of like the discussions that I went on in between. And it, it was a rash decision, but it feels so freaking right. Like guys, like I have a sense of relief that I have not felt in months. Like there was a reason I feel like Zach and I were like not making moves obviously his health has been a factor but all like I I just I've been so hesitant and just not it just didn't feel right I don't know and like as soon as I decided Cincinnati I just felt an instant sense of relief and a lot of people are like oh you're just doing what's comfortable like you have to get outside of your comfort zone but this is my life like I don't think you always need to be so outside your comfort zone what if happiness is here and outside your comfort zone is there like 
I've been outside my comfort zone plenty of times. I obviously, I picked up and moved to Ohio when I was 21, right after graduating college without knowing a soul. So I've been outside my comfort zone and it's awesome at certain points in life, but when I'm on the cusp of having a family and having kids and getting a little older, I don't think it's a bad thing to not be outside my comfort zone. And by the way, people are saying like, Zach really wants to move to Florida. Like you're awful for forcing him to move to Cincinnati. Do you really think I'm forcing him to move to Cincinnati? If as his fiance, I am wanting to move closer to his family and friends and that makes me an awful person, then I'm fine being an awful person. Like if that, come on, how, how could that make me an awful person? And I do have friends in Cincy as well, but obviously just not as many as Zach. And just being by his family, like I, it's just, like I can't explain it. Like the idea of moving so far away from everyone was like causing me so much just like, it'll be fun, yes, but is it really what I want? and it's okay to change your mind. And I, I, I guess, I mean, I don't need to prove this to anyone. I was just almost shocked by all of like the messages and comments I've been getting where, I don't know, I'm just, I'm, I'm happy and I feel that inside and that's all that matters. And then obviously my brother lives in Cincinnati. Like that's awesome too. We probably wouldn't be looking in his exact area, but I mean, to be a car ride away from like family, that's just so huge. And then also obviously it helps with my parents when they're visiting us, like they come to one place. It's easier than like, oh, let's visit Neil this time and then let's visit Clancy the next. And I don't know, I'm really happy with the decision and I am getting over the whole house drama and moving on. Like sometimes I still think about it a little bit, but I texted Zach today and I, I truly do think we did not get that house for a reason. And in my mind, there are two reasons, like why the universe was just like, you should not live there. One, possibly the neighborhood. Who knows? Maybe we would have hated that neighborhood. Not in a bad way, but maybe it just wasn't the neighborhood for us. I, I do think it was maybe an older, wealthier neighborhood, kind of, than what we would like, like, than our style. Um, at least Zach and his mom visited the neighborhood yesterday, and that was his mom's take as well. And so maybe that neighborhood just wouldn't have suited us. And then two, maybe we were biting off more than we could chew. Like, maybe we should buy a cheaper home. That was at the top end of the budget that we wanted to spend. Could we afford it? Yes, like doing the math on our monthly incomes and all of that and the down payment would have been no problem. But at the end of the day, like why spend all that money? I mean, I, we don't know how much the house we choose is going to cost, but maybe it was a blessing and we should actually lower our budget. Like, I don't know. I just, I'm definitely coming to peace with it and moving on from this whole situation. Zach and I will continue our home search and I don't, I think I mentioned it in this vlog, we are considering building a house, doing new construction. So my mom and I are actually going to go to, I think like Lowe's, PC Richard, one of the two, and just like look to see how much appliances and all of that costs today, because that is a big consideration with new construction. You're not just buying the home, but you're like all the things it doesn't come with. Like if someone else is selling their home, they'll probably throw in the washer and dryer, the refrigerator, blinds will be installed. So we're going today just for fun. I mean, this is just like a little fun activity just to see how much are we actually going to have to spend and how much room we have to leave in our budget. I walked into the den and of course my mom has my YouTube video pulled up with all of the comments. Just remember, if you leave a comment, Kathy is watching. She seriously reads every single one. Just want to give a little behind the scenes before I turn on the camera. I said, Mom, we're going to talk about today's <laughs> YouTube comments. Want to tell them what you said? Nope. Just, okay. She said, what, they were bad? As if she hasn't read every single comment. Hi, I everyone. <laughs> well, don't be mean because my mom will, what will you do, Mom? I don't know. I will track them down. She'll track you down. No, but seriously, what are your thoughts? I just addressed it, uh, earlier how everyone's like freaking out about like you have to move to florida you're making zach like just everything well obviously you keep asking zach so you guys couldn't um decide on a place in florida i think that the problem was where you wanted to be st petersburg cost a fortune for just you know a small 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 house and then asking if you wanted to move inland zach really didn't want to do that so there was really no in between where you could have gotten a home with a pool and all that, but not if you wanted to go out in St. Petersburg or Tampa. So I think that this is great because it's, you know, you're close to his family, you're close to your brother. Obviously you both have friends there. There are enough pickleball courts in the area for you. So now we are going to um, Lowe's and I just want to look at like appliances and all that. My mom actually put together 
a handy dandy list if we do new construction all of the little add-ons that we would want to do just to keep in mind just because obviously you see one price but it's going to end up being a lot more than that when things add up you might have uh, viewers who have moved into either a brand new house that could tell you what costs oh yeah if you're a homeowner and you've done the whole new construction route or if you've done the other route like pros and cons we'd love to hear them i'm sorry but who would ever need a smart fridge like this is too much come on come on and that price tag is very upsetting just a little warning everyone this will be an investment and an entire security system so don't try to mess with it Time has come for me to enjoy the Garden City Bistro if I could open this, which I have been having a lot of problems with my stomach because of this. I only have a little bit left, but I've been on these crazy antibiotics. I posted this on Instagram. A lot of you guys messaged me saying you have dealt with the same thing. It destroys your stomach, which by the way, the address on there is not my address anymore. That was like five years ago, but this is just, oh my gosh, like my stomach has been in shambles. But finally, I feel like I can get a little crazy, and I got the Garden City Bistro. This is probably the most elite food I've ever had. Out of every city I've been to, it's just so fresh, so good. Like, ah, oh, I always look forward to this so much when I come home. And it's like, I mean, it's a decent-sized salad. And this, by the way, if you are in the area, is just the veggie salad. So it has, like, what is that, red bell pepper, onion, I think zucchini is in there. And then I add grilled chicken. I see tomato. So freaking good. I just need to be so real with you guys right now. This, wait for it, wait for it. This is my current life situation. I'm sitting on the floor watching YouTube. This is Jess Conti. Love her. Next to the radiator because my room is so cold and I just like need to be like huddled up next to it. Meanwhile, like this is the situation. We've got a huge mattress. Really have no idea what this thing is doing here. That's the rest of my room. Like, it's just, life is just, it's it's very humbling right now, I have to say. And I have no idea why this radiator looks like this. That's kind of disgusting. <laughs> but I, I am very humbled, to say the least. On the flip side, though, my life is so wholesome as I sit here eating my dinner, reading my newspaper. I've also got my buddy Walter by my side. What's up, pal? And I get so many questions from people asking why I don't eat dinner with my parents there's like no answer other than like we all do our own thing like we just all cook our own dinner I there's like no answer good morning guys I'm just sitting here doing some editing I just worked out which that workout this morning was brutal and <laughs> as you guys can probably see I have a friend on my face I mean I'm kind of far away from the camera but I mean it is evident and I just Oh my gosh, like it's so weird. I feel like a lot of us can relate to this where if I see someone who has acne covering their face, I'm not kidding, I don't think twice. In my mind, acne, like when I see it on other people, it's just this temporary thing, you know? Like it's like, I don't, I don't think twice. It's like, I, I judge them. I mean, I'm, that sounds bad to say I judge someone, but like, you know, if it's a pretty person who has acne, I just don't think twice about the acne. I can promise you that. And then I get one bad pimple and I feel so self-conscious. Like going to the gym this morning, I seriously considered putting concealer on this, which would be the most ridiculous thing ever. Like who, who does that to the gym? Like what the heck? But for me, it's the double whammy because first of all, I mean, I'm really trying to get close to the camera. Like it is a very large pimple. Cause obviously there are some that are just like surface level, but not only that, the placement of it, I cannot stand pimples near the mouth area. Like if it's on the forehead, I don't think twice. The cheeks, whatever. The chin, who cares? The the mouth, like I get so self-conscious about it. So I mean, I'm just keeping it real with you guys. It's fine, it's okay, but it is happening. And I did get some messages from you guys who were on similar medications that I'm on right now saying it really wreaked havoc on your skin. And I see that because I also, had some stuff going on on my chin as soon as I started taking it. So I am just like dying to get off this medication. And it's so ironic and annoying because my skin right now as a whole is like better than ever, guys. Okay, yeah, it's the next video. I'm doing a sponsorship. When I say, I like, and this is not sponsored, okay? This section is not sponsored. The company has no idea I'm talking about them. When I say my skin is like just different because of this one product. So I'll just tell you, it's Dime Beauty. You can get it on Ulta.com. I would wait though, because I believe I'm gonna have a discount code for you guys. And I'm low key gonna use this discount myself. 
like it feels like my skin texture feels like I just got a facial and I haven't gotten a facial in a month like it is kind of insane I'm really excited for this like just to show you guys because oh my gosh and then I just need this thing this little thing to clear up with my medication but I hope you guys don't take this all the wrong way like acne is fine pimples are fine I just want you guys to know that when it happens to me yeah I do get self-conscious too I'm human it happens but I really do like resist the urge to cover it up like obviously if I'm wearing like a full face of makeup I don't know if I'm wearing makeup or not today but if I'm wearing a full face of makeup obviously I'm gonna put concealer on it but I don't ever want to get into the habit of like oh I have to go to the gym like I have to cover it up there's nothing wrong with that by the way if that makes you happy no judgment whatsoever like I used to wear makeup to the gym too it's just for me I realized I was wearing it for other people because I was self-conscious of myself like if you wear it because you love yourself and you're like yeah like I want to feel powerful and cool like that's awesome but for me like it truly was I hate what I look like without makeup which is a problem so that's just that's just my two cents meanwhile Walter's my little editing buddy where is he he gets so sad when my mom leaves like it's crazy and I realize she probably doesn't even know this because she doesn't know what happens when she leaves like he doesn't do anything crazy but he's just so lost without her you okay Walt Walter Hey. Okay, I just want everyone to know it is 1 p.m. I sat down to put finishing touches on this vlog at 11 a.m. Three hours of finishing touches. I know that sounds ridiculous. I just feel like people don't really see the behind the scenes of editing, but all of these, like if you see this, that takes a lot of time. It's when I'm trying to find B-roll or video, it's called video in just regular terms, from like past videos to reference, and then I need to find it on my YouTube channel and then screen record it. And it's just so time consuming, but I really feel like it makes a big difference in the video. Like if you can actually have visuals instead of just me sitting down talking. <laughs> sometimes due to the fact that I'm extremely lazy I will eat my lunch in the tin foil I cooked it in instead of pleating it because then I'm just putting a whole nother plate through the dishwashing process and we don't have time for that so butternut squash salmon is actually my first time eating salmon since I got sick a few weeks ago it just so happened it was the last thing I ate and so it's just it's been an iffy Thing in my life but I think I'm ready. Today has been a very heavy getting stuff done for YouTube day because I leave for Ohio in two days which obviously I could still do things in Ohio but it'd be nice if I can knock a lot of things off my plate so that once I get there I am only stressed about the house situation and not also YouTube work because let's be real the house stress has not dissipated but I forgot how good this camera is like it is a game changer oh my gosh I am so Happy, I discovered it. Like obviously the one I'm filming on right now is good. And it's perfect for vlogging, it's small, like I could never vlog with the other one, but the focusing shots and just the quality, I, it's, it's seriously like unbelievable. So I'm glad I got this done. And I'm gonna have to start packing, which that's a whole other story. I still don't know if I'm coming back to New York, if I'm staying in Ohio, I don't know what this housing situation is gonna be like, if I'm gonna get there and we're gonna fall in love with the house because we have, tours this weekend or I'm not and then do I still come back to New York because I wanted to just book a one-way plane ticket because it'd just be easier that way but it's cheaper if you book round trip I have no idea why it's very annoying so I booked a round trip and I did protect my trip so I actually could just reschedule it but I don't know what the situation is I am confused and so I feel like I'm gonna pack for Ohio knowing I could be coming back to New York in two weeks or I could never be coming back to New York I don't know I, a lot is up in the air, clearly. It's just one of those things where we are in a season of change, that is for sure, and a season of stress, but I'm trying to channel that stress into a good thing and just be happy that we are getting closer to making moves, and that makes me so unbelievably happy. So stay tuned for the next vlog. That is when I'm going to be going to Cincinnati. I'm going to be reunited with Zach. We're going to look at houses. We're going to see, like, do we like one? Are we going to buy one I don't know or build I we are all over the place like as we speak on my Apple watch Zach is texting me about the pros of building a house which I don't know it just sounds like a lot of dollar signs but anyway I love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and thank you so much if you have left a nice comment it really means a lot in this time of negativity I cannot believe 
how much negativity there was on that last video, which I just stopped reading the comments at a certain point because it just like literally every comment it felt like was negative and I don't delete comments. Like I just don't even care enough. Like at the end of the day, like I really don't care. It's whatever, people can think what they want. It's my life, but it was kind of crazy. So thank you so much if you left me a sweet comment or a sweet message because it really means a lot. So yeah, with that being said, I'm gonna go. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.